it was clear that Roger Ailes played somewhat of a role, that Rudy Giuliani took over more of that role heading up to the debate on Monday night. Now they're scrapping all of that. Who's in charge? Well, there's nothing that is uh, being that is set right now, and there's nothing formal in terms of changes. But what is happening looking forward is a consideration of an overhaul. You talked mm. about uh, the fact that there's still a lot of hand wringing about what happened, a lot of disagreement from Trump himself and others about how bad it really was. But what's most important right now from the perspective of uh, the people who are close to Trump and want him to succeed is what do you do next to change it? So an overall overhaul is being considered. And uh, most importantly, what we are told is that a person who is uh, being considered to lead the debate prep the next time is New Jersey Governor Chris Christie. I should say that mm. this reporting comes from a tip that our Gloria Borger first got and that she and I have been reporting out. Uh, but I want to underscore that this is a big May, May. Okay. But the, the reason why this is under consideration is for a couple of a couple of reasons. Number one, uh, Chris Christie has known Donald Trump for a very long time. Uh, he is, as we know, uh, speaks quite bluntly in public and even more so in private, uh, even and especially to someone like Donald Trump, who uh, doesn't always get that kind of blunt talk uh, from even his friends. And so uh, the, the feeling is that he needs to be told more, you, you know, you have to do it this way, that way, and the other mm -hmm. way, as opposed to the way that you feel comfortable with uh, and going with your gut, Mr. Trump. The other reason is because Chris Christie is the person who is in Trump's orbit, Poppy, who has the most recent experience being on the debate sure. stage against Trump himself. I mean, he was he was debating during the Republican primaries. Rudy Giuliani has experience, but it's eight years old.